So let's do this. Let's do this. Welcome, guys. How is everybody doing? We're doing, I'm doing well. <laughs> How about you, Mr. Mundy? I'm wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It's good to be with, it's good to be among my friends all over again. Um, can, can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about the alpha females tonight. So <laughs> a very interesting conversation. I believe it's going to be. Definitely. I, well, I, I, you're I surrounded be... with three alpha females, Mundy. <laughs> So tighten your belt. It's sir. gonna set up. It's that's gonna what get it is. Bumpy. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Having three strong women with you. So tonight we're going to debate this thing. We're going to, you know, just really put it out there and and allow people to be who they are, who they want to be. And cricket, yes, she's one of the alpha female. Flirt is one. Else is one. I mean, I see all these women come in here. Let me tell you, they all alpha female and now we have an oligarch <laughs> jimmy hi jimmy how are you nice to see you welcome everyone thank you so much for joining us tonight and um so the topic of the show is really who wants to read the topic for me please oh i'll read it go ahead <laughs> maintain a healthy relationship with an alpha female Alpha can, can you say it again, please? Can you say it again? <laughs> Maintain a healthy relationship with an alpha woman. That's the thing. That's the thing. Can men handle a relationship with an alpha female? Because one thing, as a coach, one thing that I hear a lot is that, well, my wife want to do everything. My wife this. My wife is that. But we also hear from the woman, you know, saying you know similar things about the men so tonight we're gonna put this into a test we i'm asking everybody to get involved please share bring your friends in because i want as many of you as possible to participate in this what we're trying to find out is what happened in a relationship when we have two alphas there when we have a strong powerful man which i know ladies you love your strong men right ladies Ooh. And for and for those of you who are on stage, I mean, who are watching, I know you guys love your strong men. Please tell me that it's true. Let me know that you guys love your men. Let me know that you guys love your alpha men. I need to know. Hi, Evelyn. Nice to see you. Hi, Heckman. Nice to see you. Yes, Cricket said yes. Anybody else love their alpha men? Ladies, come on. I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear from you ladies now. Do you love your alpha men? Do you love your alpha men, ladies? Come on. As long it's an alpha man, not a bossy man or controlling man. Let's set, set, mm -hmm. you know, sets the difference. Controlling and alpha, not the same. Well, yeah, that's true. That's true. Elsie says, of course, of course. Ladies, I do want to hear from you. I want to get more feedback from you. I need to know, we all here need to know, how do you feel? When, in regards to the alpha men, do you want your men to be an alpha man? Because that is really gonna determine what happened tonight. Because we need to know where you ladies stand, all right? Do you want your men, yes, Fred says yes. Do you want your men to be an alpha man, right? So, well, I don't think it's what we want. Well, there's the person, if they're an alpha, they're an alpha, you know, originally. Mm -hmm. Um, now, does that fit your standards mm -hmm. or your vibe, your way? That's mm -hmm. a whole different, you know. Uh, okay. Um, because <laughs> Jimmy said women need to follow and men need to lead. Go sit wow. down, okay. Jimmy. We started strong. We started strong. All right. Women need to follow <laughs> and men need to lead. How many guys <laughs> agree with, with Jimmy? Let me tell you this. Okay, the one that talks like they controlling things, or the one that when the woman say go sit down, they go sit down, like Jimmy. Okay, so don't listen to Jimmy. <laughs> MD, wow, Marjorie, that was a big one. Yes. Jimmy, did you receive it? Is it true? <laughs> the man with the loudest voice is the man who is really the pet. They're the uh, submissive one at the house. 
Go wash the dishes. <laughs> so you are the one, the no. man who speak louder. You know, the reason I say the pet is because, you know, when you walk somewhere, you know, especially if you have like a, a beautiful dog that, you know, the dog sees you and the dogs are going like, you know, grinding like, and that's the <laughs> sweetest dog ever. You know, that's the sweetest dog because all it does is just bark, but it doesn't do anything to hurt. So now let's, 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 let's look at the strong men. Are they just physically strong or do they lead in a way that is very strong? We need to know. We need to know. Inquiring mind wants to know. <laughs> Jimmy said that's not true. <laughs> we can't hear you, Vanya. Stop. <laughs> oh, um, my gosh. Come on, guys. <laughs> Vanya, you want to start? Well, no, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead for me for just one second. I think, I think, I think it's important before we Vanya, start. Vanya, we still can't hear. I'm sorry, Mandy. I'm not sure what's going on with your mic, but not, try again. Go ahead. Say something. I don't know. Okay. What, what can hey, you yes. do? You're good. You, know, you hear me now? Yes. yes. Okay. So we, we seems to be going towards, do we like the alpha men? But the question is, does the man like an alpha woman? So All before right. before we dive into the conversation, I think it's fair for you guys, for you ladies, to define what an alpha woman is, where that concept even came from. Is it a make-believe concept? If not, what are we really talking about? You want okay. to take that one, Vanya? Yeah. So an alpha woman is a, a, a woman who carried the leadership, um, being very ambitious, um, have a lot of self-confidence. So far, I don't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> being very confident in themselves and, and, and uh, being a leadership, even at their job, they could be... Uh, we have alpha women who's our boss and we have um at home we have women who still takes over the look at monday's face they still have the alpha energy okay you know I'm, saying I'm glad you say it huh? <laughs> i said no, i'm glad you say it okay so, okay this is what i think women um we tend to take at home, it's usually mostly the women who who raise the family by themselves, and I feel like they they taking the alpha um, role and voluntarily the alpha role to sub, to take care of the family to make sure everything is done, especially at the absence of a man. So it is quite, or it's usually how it is in I I think in every household where the women are by themselves. And they have to take on that leadership. I have taken it. Um, I, I, I tend to pivot on both. <laughs> so when it's required. So at home, I raise my boys by myself. I have taken um, the leadership help to raise the boys, pay the bill, make sure they whatever they need is there, is there in the house. I have taken a hammer. I have... Um, paint of their bedroom in my bedroom I mean and and build a, a a piece of furniture so and then there was no one to answer to because I had to be the one who's the leader I have to be um creative I have to be self-confidence in order to do this so it's not all the time when they say alpha they keep they're trying to give the it's it's like a bossy they think it they, they mix it with bossiness yeah. But it is to our adventures when we can be, I believe both, we can be alpha, we can be beta. Okay. Yeah. Let me, uh, uh, Mundy, hold on, wait a minute. Let Mundy oh, I'm not answering. I'm about to bring another man into the conversation. Uh, what happened? You can't handle it all by yourself. <laughs> what happened, Mundy? You need help? Well, I don't Mundy, need help. help. Come and rescue him. <laughs> Why Getting I assassinated by the alpha female <laughs> already. So I totally agree with Vanya when she's talking about the leadership. Um, mm -hmm. It's taking the leadership role. And some of us are forced into it. Now, you can be forced into the role, not necessarily be mean you're an alpha. 
So taking care of raising your children by yourself doesn't necessarily make you an alpha. An alpha, it's either you are or you're not. You cannot try to be, unfortunately. And, um, and again, let's not mix it with being bossy. There's two different things. A boss, a bossy boss is not a leader. Because a leader, as they're telling you what to do, they are doing it as well. They're showing you. They want you to grow. Uh, that's a good leader. Um, as far as a, a female being an alpha, like I was sharing with somebody, some men love it. <laughs> some men love it. And those men that love it are the men that are looking for a mother figure. Most of them are the women that mm. were raised by, you know, men that were raised only by a female, by only a, a mom, a single mother. And somehow they love that authority that, you know, how you have a male figure. Well, he loves that female strong figure you know to tell him what to do to bust him around and i've met men who's you like see what she just said right there you see what she just said what you I see said. she's contradicting herself already how right right to go tell ahead go ahead call me on it call me on it around. you you heard what she just said right no no no, said, no 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 I'm, I'm mixing many things right now yes you I'm, are okay. no, no 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 okay <laughs> monday don't start I'm just saying in general, okay, an alpha female doesn't necessarily make you a bossy woman, but some men, they love a bossy woman just in general. They just love that okay. to tell them what to do. But does it, does it necessarily mean that a leader, a, a, a alpha female is a bossy woman? It's a woman that knows what she wants, can make a decision with or without a man and follow through. Don't just talk about it, but be about it. And I think that's very important. You know, so that's my take. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you for giving us your take. <laughs> well taken. Uh, we, we have two will. strong men. Huh? We, we have two strong men here with us tonight. And, <laughs> and, and, well, just well. take and strength. Oh, uh, yes. Take, thank yes. you for being but, here. So welcome, uh, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Yes, hey, before we start, hey, yeah. let's, let's, yes. let's Let's welcome... Emmanuel, um, this is the first time you are with us on stage, and uh, and and I'm happy that you're here, especially with this topic. We want to hear men's uh, opinion, and right. it also shows that the guys who are watching, if you want to be part of it, all you have to do is just reach out to us. You know, uh, send me a message via messenger or call the number that is on my relationship go official page, uh, which is 305-546-9679. Um, and we can post it also. We can type it on the link as well. I mean, uh, so then you guys, if you want to participate, you want to be here with us and support Monday, he can use your support. <laughs> so tonight, um, the topic is heavy, uh, but we do need to talk about this. The simple fact is one of the things, and I know Monday, you can back me up on that. One of the things that we encounter as coaches is that we have couples that we work with. And one of the challenges that they have is that the man is a strong man and the woman is a strong woman, you know, and, and together they don't know where to meet in that medium space. They don't know how to communicate enough in order to really truly listen to each other. They don't know how to step back when necessary and allow the other person to play that role. And it's always a fight to show, well, I'm stronger or I'm better not just in the woman's side, but also on the men's side. So we're having this conversation because it's real, because so many of you are going through this and we would like to bring some light into it and let you know, and also to recognize the signs that you are living with an alpha woman, you know? Because sometimes she's not just, you know, rude mm -hmm. because you don't understand why she's the way she is. There's this thing in her that makes her, that sets her apart from the rest you know, of the other women. So we, we're bringing some light into this. We're asking you to please invite, invite your friends so everybody can get involved into the conversation and please, you know, share your opinion with us, share your views with us. Um, before I introduce Manny, um, Emmanuel, as I call him Manny, uh, let me just acknowledge some of the things that you guys are saying. Um, <laughs> somebody asked for Miss Scott. Miss Scott is at, is at work. That's true, Fifi. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy says, Superman and Superwoman can't live in the same house. Mm, I don't know. We'll see about that. What do you guys think? 
What do you guys think about what Jimmy just said? Um, Angela said, um, you have men who call themselves alpha male who are dis disguised as, that's true, that's true, mechanistic, that's true. Um, because sometimes people portray to be something and we quick to give them a title that they do not deserve. I fully, fully, fully agree with you. All right. Yes, Josie, Miss Scott is working tonight. So I'm so sorry she's not here. Um, and please give us give us some of your uh, feedback. Continue to share with us. Uh, Angela, I see. Um, thank you. Thank you for joining us, everybody. I appreciate you guys. All right. Let me just do a quick welcome to Mr. Emmanuel Gentine. Um, so nice to have you on stage with us. Please tell us a little bit about you and what you do. And then we're going to go straight into um, dive right onto the topic. Well, good evening, everybody. Uh, everybody, Mandy, uh, of course, the lovely Maggie. Uh, we got Marjorie and Miss uh, Miss Bruno. Anya. Okay, nice Anya. to meet you. Um, <laughs> um, well, pretty much. I mean, for those who know me, of course, I go by Manny. For those who really know me, and of course, Big E Man. I mean. That's pretty much a name that my dad gave me, uh, I would say, ever since I was, what, seven? And he passed away when I was 10. So it's just something that just, you know, stuck with me. My mom pretty much called me Biggie, but government name is Emmanuel. Um, I am a uh, postal uh, uh, employee. I work for the federal government. So um, I do a lot of things. I host uh, pretty much um, a radio show. Uh, with my god brother uh, here in Homestead, um, uh, there's a lot of things that I do, man. It's 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 uh, whether it's um, uh, music or entertainment or you know just for fun. You know I'm you know hanging with the family and uh, that's just me. And we are from and, the island. Well, I love oh, we we never do one thing. Who does one thing? <laughs> we don't. Of course, of course. It's in our DNA. You got to do multiple things. You know, you got to do multiple things, man. You you know, uh, I, I feel like uh, you know, you can't just be a shell a shell of yourself. You got to evolve, and um, you know, those are the areas that you know I try to do each and every day. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's so nice to have you join the conversation. Thank you. And give us your feedback. What do you think about the topic? Since you know you walked in and we're already into it, what do you think about what's been said? Because um, while Marsha was talking, I heard you going like this. You know, kind of, kind of. You really wanted to make sure that did I hear what I thought I heard? <laughs> no, I mean, you know, I I see exactly what she's saying, but mm -hmm. one of the things I mean from experience, because I have a family member that literally, well, I have a real close family member that's going through that right now. Um, I'm not going to say he or she's name, but I, I feel like, you know, just with, I think uh, Monday was just saying that I'm, you know, some guys are just, you know, well, I think Marjorie was saying it. Some guys are, you know, whether they were uh, raised with a single uh, 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 mother and they just try to find that motherly, you know, side of a woman that could, you know, maybe make them, feel like they're they're a man or make them feel like they're a whole. But I just disagree with that whole alpha woman or alpha male. I mean, it, why can't we just all just be, you know, equally? I mean, I mean, we can't nowadays. I mean, living in 2023, everybody wants to be something. You get what I'm saying? But I just feel like an alpha woman being so like controlling and we have a lot of those because you know some women feel like oh I should do this or no you should do this and I should do that you know whether it's you know coming to you know an agreement where hey we could you know be partners instead of being that you know hey I'm going to be your mom today you're going to do exactly what I tell you to do and this is how it has to go and like, that well, let that's me, like, that, I I don't think it's, can we, why can't we all be equal? It's not a question of being equal or not. Again, it's your being. You are, right. a leader is born. Can you develop someone into a, to, to become a leader? Yes. Will they actually be that excellent leader? No, because it's not right. in you. So being it, and again, I don't want you guys to mix uh, um alpha female with equals bossy equals controlling not necessarily 
again, it's being assertive. I know what I want. I know what's best for us. Like, let's say we, you alpha, I'm alpha. I say, okay, baby, so we're going to go buy a house, okay? So we have 200,000. So is, does it make sense that we go buy a house 150,000? Hmm, not really. Let's not do that. Let's do this instead. And sort of like, okay, baby, you're going to go buy a house 150? Okay. Okay, whatever you want, darling. <laughs> like it's not really being equal or not, but it's somebody that can actually help you make some right decision when you are, right. are veering towards something negative or it may not be great or good for the relationship or for you, like the person can speak up and not just sit back and just take it. And you no, know, it's not about equality or not. It's that person that sees beyond your capability that can hold you accountable and push you to be the best that you can be, holding it down, basically. As a perfect example, okay. I don't know who's the rapper okay. or whoever he was. That, that example, I agree. Went, let me add this. When he went to jail, having that lady take that money, multiply it, and whatever, 10, five years later, when he came out, he had everything set. An alpha female can do that. A woman who's assertive, who has her mind right, who knows what's going on. Not, oh my God, my man is good. I don't know, I'm going to pay the bill. Life You're talking is about over. Gucci. There's a difference. <laughs> You're talking about Gucci, man. Yeah. 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 Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy just put it in there. Yeah, yeah he did. He acknowledged yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. But see, but see, that's an alpha, that's an alpha woman right there. Thank I mean, you. Thank you. Just exactly. No, to be honest, that's an alpha woman because when Gucci got locked up, literally, I mean, he gave her everything he had and he just told her, look, this is what I have. I'm going away. Just do what you can. And she just flipped everything. Flipped. She could have gone estate, and spent it on her hair, on Gucci, yeah. on Louis Vuitton yeah. and buy yeah. all this, all that. No. So... Right there. Thank she you. became a boss. She became Let's a boss. Go. But Bro, Let's go. Yeah, 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 no, but look, <laughs> hold on. She became a boss, but it took an alpha male to Ooh. just hey, do Ooh. what you need to do, baby. I'm just saying. It wait, took wait, an alpha on. male. Let me, let me make sure I heard you correctly. Listen, listen. It takes an on. alpha Hear male to what? Hear me out. No, no, no. Hear me out. He was already an alpha male. Hear me. But then he gave her what he had. And she evolved. You got to give credit. No, no matter what he was, if she wasn't anything, if she didn't have that leadership, if she didn't have, if she wasn't goal minded, goal oriented, it could have, the opposite could have happened. Those $100,000, yeah. a million dollars could have gone to the ground. So but I'm not, I'm, I'm not taking anything away from him, her. but him being who he is doesn't make her anything. Again, I'm going to go back. It's either you are or you're not. Influence, influence. That Not works. Necessarily, she. Why does it have to be giving him the credit? Okay, so he has the money. Give him that credit. No, I'm not talking but about why him. Why is it that it's in her? It's embedded in her. Not all right, women right. are submissive. Not all women born that way, and they are right, so. very strong character that can carry. So a that's, that's, relationship, well, not just a relationship, but a business minded, or someone who's very creative, they can do it. He didn't even have to show her. She could have, how do you know she wouldn't have even done it without his, um, while he I, was I didn't, I didn't, but I didn't say she couldn't do it. I just said simply, she got literally, you got to look at it from, from the start. He influenced her. That's what I said. Influence is a big influence thing. Influence her how? How? By just handing her the money or the possessions? But, but uh, wait, well, wait. Oh, 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 hold on. I got another analogy for you. Hold on. Wait a minute. Okay, Remember okay. back okay. in the Bible, the father that gave both sons the money, one took it and wasted it. The other one made it, multiplied it. So that goes to show you the father could have influenced both of them to do the right thing, but it depends on your mind, your mindset, right. who you are. I but could give you a million dollars, two people, point. two children, a million dollars. They both would do something different with it. That's a fact. Uh, okay. All right. Um, Go ahead, bro. I'm, I'm itching here. I'm itching. I'm itching. I'm itching. <laughs> um, oh, man. Let's just, let's just and, and Jimmy, let's oh, just... give me one second, Monty. Jimmy's going crazy, too. And he's saying that's not an alpha woman. That's woman that listen and follow instructions. She follows instruction. That's all she did. Um, yeah, Jimmy's going crazy also. Uh, you know, really giving it to the ladies. <laughs> and he says, let me in the Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 
when when you um take the time to examine the animal kingdom it is clear that whenever there is an alpha i'm not gonna say male or female right right whenever, whenever there's an alpha present mm -hmm. everybody else for the that position put in place yep. that's mm -hmm. how nature designed it to be and a relationship you cannot you should not be if you believe you're an alpha person whether you're an alpha male or woman if you truly believe that's who you are please hear me out do not get yourself involved with an alpha woman if you're an alpha man and vice versa because if you do so that relationship is going to go through a lot of power struggle right Cat is trying to get in, let me get her in, right? That relationship is going to experience a lot of power struggle because it is in our nature as alpha to want to dominate. Yeah. Okay? So True though. the, the term true. that we are using when we talk about alpha male or alpha female is not necessarily a bad thing, right? An alpha woman can walk into a womb and she just dominate. The moment she walks in, she just attract everyone. She doesn't even have to do anything. Her sheer presence, just like an alpha lion walks into the jungle, he doesn't even mm -hmm. have to whoa. Everybody falls into line, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are character traits. Those are wonderful character traits. So I don't want to say, um, I don't want to sound like I'm bashing a woman who has this type of ability someone who truly believes in her skill power mm -hmm. someone who is independent someone who is ambitious someone who is who who exercise and show great leadership skills all of those things are wonderful mm -hmm. what we are asking is that how can we translate all these qualities and bring it home where the relationship is with a man the question is are you with a man who is an alpha male or are you with a man who is a beta male? Because if you are in a relationship with a man who is also an alpha, you guys are constantly going to be fighting over every little thing because it's- And it, an might, it might not seem like, it, like they are fighting too. It might not seem yeah. it, but you guys will eventually bump heads from time to time. And it, and it turns toxic at the end of the day. Yeah. Because it's it's part of the character traits. It's you you are very competitive, you are very combative, you are very controlling, you are very aggressive. So when you take one person with all these character traits and you bring another person with that character traits and you bring them together, it's a recipe for disaster. So that's and that's how what I'm saying right now. So we and we, that's we, why. No, go ahead. I'm sorry, Mandy. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm saying so. If if you just look at just that alone. You have to say, okay, in that case, it, it's preferable if you truly believe you are an alpha female, not to get into a relationship with an alpha male. Because for you to say you're an alpha female and demand, there you go. You shouldn't have to demand anything. Demand an alpha man to treat you, you know, like an alpha. No, it's not going to work. It can't, he can't do it. It's against his, it's against who he, who he is. I do believe two alpha male and female can coexist. Give me an because example. Because a true alpha female, they know when to step back. If you're a true leader, and again, being an alpha alone doesn't make you a leader. Being bossy, controlling doesn't make you a leader. If you know what you're doing, the right woman, as alpha as she is, will know when to fold. When no one to follow. If you him. know when to follow, guess what? He's if you actually know when leading to with intelligence, with the right decisions. He's leading me, guiding me the right way. But he Marjorie, knows me to like, baby, no, not now. Marjorie, the very fact that you can learn when to fold is is a sign that you truly not an alpha female. I disagree. Because if you are an alpha female, there's no such thing. No, okay, okay. I'm I'm gonna show you, tell you why I disagree. There's something called common sense, logic. So my alpha male partner is gonna tell me something logical. Just because I'm an alpha, I'm gonna disagree and know you gotta do my way. 
You see, that's just being stubborn. That's just being stupid. I'm sorry. But if you know he's right, you know what? That's a good point. Let's go ahead and do it. You got to know when to, when I say fold, it's not like you become like, okay, I, okay. No, it's like, you're right. And that's just, and that's just in friendship and leadership and anything. You got to know when the partner, your boss, your friend, you know what? I hurt your feelings. I was wrong. I was wrong for doing this. It's just acknowledging when, when you, you might be right this time. You know what? Yeah, let's, let's go this way instead. That's just when the person, and it could be vice versa, whichever one, whether it's the male or the female, it's not that you're submitting to them, but you have come in, you have enough sense to know what, you know what, that's a better decision. This is going to benefit both of us. It's going to benefit the family. It's going to benefit the relationship. Let's go with it, period. One, one thing I can add, you, what you just said just now, but not everybody that has come. True, true. So you're saying all the right things, but a lot of a lot of times some people, I mean, it's easy to say that. I can say that. One thing I, I've always known from you know being a shorty, it's easy to do bad, but it's very hard to do good. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's yeah. easy to do bad, but it's hard to do good. And I'm gonna so, take it even one step further. It's easier for you to do what's natural to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? It's so much easier for you to do what's natural to you than what's mm -hmm. not natural. So um, I do agree with you in a way that they can make it work. But what I'm saying is it's going to take a whole lot for that kind of relationship to thrive because both of them are fighting for the same thing. And I know Mike is- Why does it have to be a fight? I don't like, it depends on, you see, you're, you're looking at it in a negative way. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. If you're already heading in or oh, um, being alpha, it's being bossy, it's being controlling, you have to, I'm the leader, I'm the only leader, you have to do what I'm saying, then yeah, that's not gonna work. But it's alpha mm -hmm. where we both of us are sturdy people. We both can make great decisions. We think before we speak. We think before mm -hmm. making certain moves. <laughs> We're going to do what's best. No, for real. To me, I'm looking at an alpha in a positive way, not in a negative way. No, we could do that negative. as well. But that's not the only way, though. Let me, let me just say, I'll be the first person to say to you, I love me an alpha woman. I really do. I was it's going. I was going to ask you about that, Monday. I was going to ask you about that because I know you're bit. Yeah. Right. So it I'm, helps a relationship, right? Where it's not always you always have to come up with things. Like if you're not there, nothing gets done. Like you will want a woman to hold it down for you. And sometimes it's a lot. And let me tell you, holding down either it's a relationship, a job, the household, it's a lot. So when you have a partner that could actually meet you halfway to make certain decisions, not always waiting on you. Like, okay, mm -hmm. what are we gonna do? What are we gonna eat? What are we gonna uh, vacation? Come on, like help me out, baby. I do, I do think it makes a difference to have a strong woman, um, you know, like to have two strong people in a relationship, as long as you guys know how to balance the relationship. And I was going to share this later, but I noticed that it's, you know, everybody's excited. So I decided, let me just uh, jump and, and share this with you guys. But before I do that, let me acknowledge, Cricket says, Marjorie, part of your statement is true, but Monday is on point. Uh, my Margaret says, I agree with you. Cricket, Cricket, I know Monday paid you, paid you before the show. Okay. <laughs> uh, Cynthia said, yes, Marjorie, you're right, you're right. Uh, Cricket says, you have to remember, alpha means dominance and not specially over someone. That is true. I mean, I'm not going to, I mean, I have some things hold later. On, hold on, hold on. Let's stay on this. Let's stay on, I'm sorry. Dominance, but not necessarily over someone. When you're dominating, you're dominating something or someone. You're not, I'm sorry, but I don't well, see. Well, she says not, not especially over someone. So, um, so, he, so but, here's the thing, right? And, and I think Marjorie, okay. <laughs> you and I might come to I don't think you're going to have a word tonight, coach. Right? <laughs> That's okay. I'm going to let you guys enjoy it. When, when we talk about alpha woman, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take this from even from my own personal relationship because I've seen it. I've seen it at work. An alpha woman have a very strong personality. Mm -hmm. And that can be very challenging to handle at times. 
especially if as a man, if you're not confident, mm -hmm. if you're not assertive, and if you're not equally independent mm -hmm. to keep the relationship on equal footing, it's a recipe for disaster. So this is why I'm saying, again, part of the reason why we do this show is that sometimes we want to prevent things from happening, right? So I'm bringing all of this thing up, not to say necessarily if you are an alpha woman, that's a, it's a negative thing. I told you already, I love being an alpha woman. But I'm saying, if okay, you can you tell us what is it about an alpha woman that you like, Mandy? Well, I'm curious to well, know. Marcia, let, let him finish. My let wife him finish is first. an alpha woman. Yes. Right? What do you like about yes. them? The fact that she's an alpha woman, I love No, that. details, details. She, she can walk into the room and light up the room. She can handle things, whether I'm there or not there, it doesn't matter. She can handle her business. She can handle the house down. She can she can handle it, period. Okay, so and you're an alpha so, male yourself, so basically right? She's the, type, she's the type to be at a store by herself and the guy just comes up and, hey, baby, how you doing? She's like, excuse me, that type of woman. Yeah, right? she can handle yes. it. Now, here's, here's the difference though. She's she she was, and I think Marjorie, you kind of talk about that. But again, what I do see is that her alpha personality ends where mine begins, if that makes sense, right? Very much so. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, Kat. welcome back. Right, because Just for a few the, moment, minutes. The, the moment that I need to step up and be confident and show that I'm. I'm confident about what we're talking about, or I'm very assertive about the conversation we are having right now. Or and 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 if there's a decision to make, she makes the decision or she'll tell me this is what I think, but she look for her men to say, you know what, I gathered everything we just talked about, and I truly believe this is what we must do. I think that's, that's what, what Marjorie was saying. saying. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what Marjorie was saying. Come on, dude. You know, I'm just gonna. I'm, a, I'm only. You guys gonna, must be related. I know. Who are we? Uh, <laughs> I'm only gonna be in for a few minutes, guys. I, 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 okay. uh, thank you for coming in. <laughs> I thank you, guys. Uh, I just came in. For more. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, let me acknowledge some other things before I say anything else. Kat, you wanna sh you wanna continue talking? Um. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me just. Because yeah, your mic is off. Oh, is it is it off? Now you're, yeah, you're, you're on. Yeah, it's on. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, Jimmy, no, say, I just, uh, yeah. Go ahead, Kat. Go ahead. No, I just feel like everything that Marjorie uh, pretty much said is is on point. I think at the end of the day, uh, as long as a woman is knowing that her man can make decisions as a leader. Again, that's what a woman wants from a man. No woman wants to be with a man where they're not being a man. We want a man to be a man so we can be a woman. I. That's exactly the point. We need to be an alpha woman when it is necessary. If my man is weak, trust and believe I'm gonna be strong. But that, I'm not gonna be disrespectful about it. You need to understand there has to be mutual respect. Once is once it is too far gone on one side or the other, then it, there's no balance. In any relationship, there has to be some sort of balance. It's not that I'm afraid of you, it's that I respect you. It's that that you're afraid of me, is that we respect each other. So I truly believe in any relationship, if we don't have mutual relation or respect, it's not gonna go anywhere. Because at the end, I may not love you, I may not even like you, but if you are making sense, I'm going to say, damn, I don't like this man, but you're making sense. Mm -hmm. And you, you know, okay. so uh, it, it's, huh? Go ahead, go ahead, Kat. Yeah, no, so it's it's pretty much, to me, I think that's what we both want. You want a woman, if you're not around, that's gonna be able to take care of the house. Like a lot of men say, if I drop dead, I know my woman has got it. If I'm not able to work, I know my woman will. So it's it's it, it's a give and take, but at the end, it's mutual respect. I love it. I love what what what's been shared tonight, and the audience is going. I mean, you guys are so engaged. It's beautiful. Um, Jesse sent you. Uh, you know, basically acknowledge you, big uh, Amen. And um, Jimmy, 
just told you that he loves you, Kat, right on, on the Maggie and Katya show, everybody witness. <laughs> 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 who said that like you, you just got his vote cricket who? says any I man i believe he, uh, <laughs> he says any man i believe would want a woman who could stand on her own and do her own thing and i do agree with that does that make her an alpha um or just a strong woman and i think i think that's what we need to define at the end i think we should really define what an alpha woman is because basically i i agree with everything that you guys just shared um, I agree with Marjorie and Katya and Vanya and you, uh, Emmanuel, and of course, Mandy. Uh, for the simple fact is it all, it's all true. Um, and, and Mandy, you and I, you know, we both, based on the work that we do, we work with different couples, but we're also married. And just like Mandy, my husband is, is an alpha, you know? Mandy's wife is an alpha. So now, and I am an alpha. I mean, I don't need to tell you guys that, you know, it can, you know, you guys can listen to me talking and you can tell at the same token, I do know when to respect my husband. I do know when to back down and let him take the role of the man. But my husband also knows, I'll give you guys a, a simple example. My husband does not like to return anything that he purchased, whether or not he wants it or it's broken, whatever happens to it. You will not return it. He'll bring it home and tell me it's not working. And I said, are you going to return it? He says, no. I wrapped it up and said, I'm going to return it. He is so happy to drive me to the store. And then he will put me up front and he's following me. He knows I'm going to go straight to the whoever is there. And I'm going to tell them this item is broken. I don't need to be rude. But I will tell them what I need to tell them. And then we get the money and then he looked at me, you know, and he's very happy because we got the money back or we're going to purchase something else. Or he'll tell me, he says, I don't know how you get away with so much. It's not getting away. It's the fact is you, when you are right, you have to stand on the fact that you're right. And regardless of who you're dealing with, you know, you can politely tell someone anything you want to tell them. And which is something that, you know, we work with when it, com when it comes to uh, communication. You can tell anybody anything you want to tell them anytime during the day. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. It's not what you say, but how you say it. And often people don't get our message because we did not set the stage for them to receive us. And when I say set the stage, I mean, if you're going to give somebody something that you think they might not like, sweet talk them first. Put some mm -hmm. sugar on it. <laughs> Put some sugar on it first. Don't just slap someone with something because now they're going to become defensive and they did not hear anything you say. And here goes an argument over stupid things. But you know, man. Your... Yes, go ahead. Go ahead, Vanya. So what you and Mundy just said, just proving that the relationship of two alpha can work. So it you're works. not moving into the relationship out of fear. This person going to surpass, no. me, make rules that I have to follow when I'm strong. So you, you, what you, it is that you both done is taking the relationship of your individuality of how you man, how your alpha, and you make it inspirational. You, you yes. understand? out of fear it become inspirational so for you to know this is what i like this is where it start this is where this person began so it and you do it you do you get into the relationship of what you like that's what you like he like alpha women you like alpha men and you both are alpha so it does what's it does work I, but i didn't know i didn't know that i like an alpha man you guys have to remember that i came from two toxic relationships so no. i didn't know that i like an alpha man there's a difference. There's a difference. We need to we need to make sure there is a difference between um I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Kat, I'm sorry, Kat. Vanya was was uh, saying something. Give it, okay, give I didn't hear it. Go, go ahead, Vanya. go ahead, Vanya. Maybe you do. You attracting what you like. You attracting who you oh, are. No, 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 no. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Vanya. I'm gonna correct you. I created my husband. Okay. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Yes, oh, Auntie. Yes. Oh, 
Sorry. <laughs> No, I was saying, Vanya, I'm sorry. I was saying that I think at the end, we really do need to remember, again, I always bring it back to respect. It's a matter of if you want to be treated with respect, you got to give respect back. So if I'm going to be with someone that I don't care for, and you and then you're being, that's when women start saying, he's so wishy-washy. Because a man, a, a man has to be a man. A woman, I don't care who you are. We, at the end, want a man that's going to be able to stand up to us respectfully mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. do what you're supposed to do as a man. And we, as the woman, we're supposed to. And I don't care if women get upset because of that. Because at the end, we, well, I don't know how you want to take it. But I believe a man and a woman, they, believe, they belong together. So I'm going to let my man lead when he needs to leave. And, uh, yeah. Marjorie, if I, must and, I think, say, and I think that's what Vanya was talking about earlier. And, and um, you what Marjorie was saying, yeah, because at the end of the day, we don't yeah. want to follow someone that's always like, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, okay. Well, he's know. making decisions, I got it. I got but it. not the I got best. It. Go ahead, sit down. I got it, I got it. <laughs> because you get turned off. I get turned off by a man like that. Don't be what you watching. Because I, it's like, okay, 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 okay. Uh -huh. Okay, I, uh -huh. okay, I got it. Because but then Kat, you think she's disrespectful. Kat, let me educate them. <laughs> as as alpha as we are, when those men actually take the lead Child and correct us when we're wrong, it actually turns us on, right? Very, very much so. Yes, ma'am. Y'all just don't know. Be a man. Just be a damn good man. You will, you will have a real woman eating out of the every part of yes. you. Okay, yes. I'm gonna stop. Just be a man. It's easy to say that though. No, it's, it's easy not. to say that. It is not be easy. About it. it is easy to be do. about it. Well, no. Can it's I say easy this to, to say you? it? Can I say this to you, Manuel? You know why? If you're hearing me, I keep saying real woman and a real yes. man. Because we're yes. not always dealing with real women. Sometimes we are yes. dealing with a child in a woman's yes. body. And you men. Yes are still boys because you are looking at the body and you are not looking and what really that is driving the woman. So you could say, damn, I want a woman, but I don't want somebody that's going to look good and can't do shit for me. So here's what I've learned about being a fan alpha, mm -hmm. right? That an alpha woman are very passionate people, right? They are passionate about their work. They are passionate about um, their hobbies. They are passionate about things that they like to do, their interests, right? And so for you as an alpha man, it's almost as if you have to pay attention and really begin to understand who is this person, why she does what she does. It's almost as if you have to put your alpha personality on hold to mm. study and understand her and appreciate um, her personalities, appreciate her strength, celebrate her personalities, celebrate her strength, then pick up, right, your alpha male. So let me tell you what usually happens. When a woman is so used to being an alpha woman, for example, she, her nine to five or nine to 10 or whatever, she's the boss. She comes home mm -hmm. many times they don't know how to turn the switch off because they operate in this alpha male uh, or alpha woman figure for so long, they don't know how to turn it off. So it requires now the same thing that I had to do. She had to learn how to shut it down. Mm -hmm. And I was talking in the beginning, I was talking from the perspective of when you bring two alpha people who have it take the time to learn to do that. It's a struggle before you get to that level. It's not something that just happened automatically. The relationship yes. can become healthy, right? Just like any other relationship, you're going to need communication. You're going to need to learn how to support each other, right? For that relationship to be successful. But what the warning I was giving is to make sure you pay attention and know what you're getting yourself into because if you don't, 
The same, the, the thing that attracts you toward that person can be the very thing that breaks you, if that makes any sense. Yeah. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. And I think that's the challenge that many couples are dealing with, or that may be the reason many couples are no longer together. The one thing that attracted you to that person is that one thing that you dislike once you start living or spending time with that person. And it's only because we did not communicate about what we wanted before we got into the relationship. People most often get into relationship based on emotion. No conversation. It's supposed to be the other way around. Right, Mandy? It's well, supposed absolutely. to be the other way around. Absolutely. Have the conversation before allowing your emotion to take you to that space. But so, that's why emotions that's why emotions can always destroy you. Definitely, definitely. But you know, definitely. I, you know I've known women who are not alpha, but can mm -hmm. manipulate the male alpha by their mm -hmm. by her community, her gentleness, her nurturing. You, you ever seen these women? I know one woman that I've been around and she does this. And actually she's on the live. I'm not going to say her name till after to you guys. <laughs> when you were around her, hey baby, can you do this for me? Hi, sweetheart. Can you? And the way she approached, she manipulate everyone around her. I'm not saying manipulation in a bad way, but she yeah. gets people to do things for her without her doing it. it. And sometimes that could be a very strong point, even if you're not an alpha, but by being in your feminine um, traits and, and, and being gentle and, and you can have an alpha male move to your groove. There you go. There you go. Oh, oh, I'm you. sorry, oh, Maggie. Oh, Maggie. Oh, Maggie to yeah. your but, but this, You know what? Hey. Maggie with you, Vanya, but they still, there's still she a difference she, between she that woman. Right there. Yeah, but there's still a big difference between that woman and the alpha woman. Because the alpha woman, when she walks in a room, you can tell she's an alpha. You know, okay. Most now, people okay. think that I'm you, six feet tall. I, I mean, I, I have I have a, a couple that I was working with. And of course, I do most of my coaching online. And the first time that we physically, you know, I met both the husband and wife, he looked at me, he turned to his wife and he said, I thought she was six feet tall. <laughs> but I don't know why you guys are associating alpha with negativity and being we're not no 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 no, no. no negativity. because no 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 because that person that uh, Vanya was talking about that person could be an alpha that's just a different way of getting what you want a leader is a leader I don't have to walk in here you do this you do that that's not what makes you a leader no, if you like nice and politely Baby, can you yeah. can you take the trash out? Oh my God, I love when you do yeah. this. Oh, but oh, when you cook, it's so good. I'm getting you to do what I I don't have to demand. It's not demanding that makes you an alpha. And I think you yeah, guys are thinking you know, the alpha and the you, all you know the way, what, Marjorie, negative way. There, there are women who use these techniques, okay, to pretend that they they need someone. So then the husband become right. This woman is in need, so the husband become the server. It's not, it's not the alpha woman who does that. The alpha woman takes, you know, she knows her role and she presents herself in that, in that role when necessary. A woman who's constantly manipulating people to do things for her. And she's just someone that is using her power, the, the, that, she, or the, the, whatever you other just people say they're using her power. Her. No, 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 no. And her power in sense that she knows that her sweet voice, people can't say no to her. Not because she's an alpha. There's a big difference between this woman because I'm saying that because I know women who are like that. Women who sit down and will love people to come and serve them, they're not alpha women. They're not. There's a different, an alpha woman would walk That's not you what we're see. saying. We're saying how we go about getting what we want. There's a difference. Serving you. That, yeah, that's a whole different topic because we can use so many things to get what we want. Okay. We women, we're good at that. <laughs> now, I mean, a woman, I said she's not, but she used her feminine trait to yes. get the male to do things for her. Yeah. 
I, I know I know women like that too. And I do not call them an alpha either because that's not who they are. Because there's a difference though. Some of the characteristic of an alpha woman is is different. I mean, we want women who are leaders. You know, women who walk in a room, you know, and people can see them. And they're that they don't have to be mean. They're usually polite, but they still intimidate people by their presence. You know, and people seem to think, you know, because they have such self, high self-confidence, wow, you know, this woman is strong and stuff like that. There's so many things that an alpha woman has that set her apart from other women. And I, like I said, I did not know that my husband was an alpha man when I met him, but it was, a, it was pleasing to know that we are so compatible. But there's a danger to it as well, because when you bring two lions together, you know, one of them needs to learn how to turn down. And I think that's the conversation that we're having. Can the men, you know, live with an alpha woman? Because when both of them, you know, when their lion's face starts showing, one of them needs to understand that's time for me to quiet down. All right. So time. let me, if you don't mind me, before we go, the definition of an alpha woman. An alpha female is a powerful and successful woman, often in a leadership role. Alpha females are often described as intimidating by men and women alike. Mm -hmm. She is talented, highly motivated, and self-confident. Female alphas mm -hmm. embrace their confidence and this helps them lead others. So there's nothing she negative about being an alpha female. The well, only, she the can, only. Not only she has self-confidence, she's strong, inspire others. She can be a leader, ambitious, well-respected, believe in herself, can make people feel uncomfortable. And this is something that you will, if you ever walk in a room and people say to you, excuse my French, you're a bitch. I used to feel disrespected. when. So, why would you call me that? Why would you think that of me? I used to take it in a negative way, but guess what? After a while, I embrace it and it's fine. Or, Once you know or what, are, what they okay. like to say nowadays, you a bad bitch. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I'm just saying. And it's okay. Hey. We don't have to feel bad when somebody calls us that, you know? You only think about Michael Jackson bad. Michael Jackson bad now. She's bad. <laughs> Do you only know I'm bad? I'm bad. You know it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. German said Ben better knows how to seduce. For example, the better bring flowers while the alpha doesn't want to bring flowers. Well, it, it depends. It depends. I cannot agree with you, but it depends. Um uh Jimmy says, I want a woman to keep quiet and look pretty. Jimmy, you are not looking for Go sit your behind me. somewhere, Jimmy. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hey. Hey. Wait, 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 Who said wait, that? Who, 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 who said that? No, 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 no. Who said that? Who this said that? Jimmy, Jimmy. Wants, right? <laughs> There's on, a woman bro. out there who's going to like him exactly like that. Can I just say one thing and then I'm going to get off? I'm going to say one last thing, guys. Um, with ahead. everything that you just summarized, Marjorie and um, Coach, is that you know, I'm I'm a little annoyed at the end of it all because I feel like even though you said there's nothing negative about it, but people will take it in a negative way because they are intimidated by a person that stands that way. But at the end of the day, she is a woman. She is a woman. It doesn't mean she doesn't feel, it doesn't mean that she doesn't, she's not sensitive. It doesn't mean she's not loving. It doesn't mean all these things. It's just mm -hmm. that this is somebody that knows what they want and they stand for it mm -hmm. without, mm -hmm. again, I'm going to say it, without being disrespectful, without being rude. I mean, mm -hmm. we all can be rude in, when it needs to be, right? But that's not mm -hmm. what an alpha woman should be. Mm -hmm. yes. An alpha woman is just a woman that knows what she wants and is not shy about going to get it and mm -hmm. saying how she wants it, whether and, and it... Mm -hmm. um, I, I agree with you. In fact, an alpha woman will bring out the best out of you. Exactly. Exactly. I think, yeah. I think, yes. And I think yes. we all need an yes. alpha somebody because, you know, you need that person that's going to, and, and, and then don't be surprised that alpha woman, she needs you to sometimes, and a yes. lot of times make her feel like, babe, you good. You got this. Because 
Yeah. It's not always easy to be strong. It takes a lot to be strong. It takes a lot to be independent. It takes a lot to go after what you want. So I think we need to also understand being alpha can be very lonely. And then if you do have somebody that's an alpha female or alpha men, we need to really, really appreciate that person yeah. and love yeah. on that person. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and because honestly, it, it can be very sad. It can be a very lonely place. And then sometimes and, and you see a lot of people that are like that, they end up doing stuff you like, committing suicide like are you serious and, and, and i support because it gets a whole different topic yeah no but i just see i just did that and emmanuel goes like oh snap because it's true but that's that's what that's the point that's the last point i want you guys to remember because being alpha doesn't mean you're a terrible person all right yeah. because no, people think you're so strong, strong you don't need worry. anybody and that's when you need people the most because exactly. you're so that's used true. of doing so much that yeah. at some point you just want to let your hair down and exactly. have somebody embrace you and take over. Yeah. You yeah. understand, child? Let me let my hair down. Girl, you know. Yeah. And, and, and you know another <laughs> challenge that, that um, alpha women go through is the fact that everybody thinks that they are so strong they don't need anybody to help that's, them. Yes, what I which just is said. A yeah. I'll give you, I'll yes, give you guys strong. one example. I'll give you guys one quick example. Like I, I look at it like this, like my mom, she's an alpha woman. Like I'll tell you this, uh, Maggie knows pretty much all about the fam, but my mom did it with five kids. Remind you, I'm the last one out of five kids. So when my father passed away, I was only 10. This was like back in the uh, late nineties. So you look at it like, okay, she did it with five kids. She worked two jobs. You get what I'm saying? she literally had to be a mom and a dad. So that means she had to be that alpha. And at the same time, balancing out five kids that have different personalities. So it, it's mentally, it, it drains her a lot because like, you know, I'll, from time to time I'll have conversations with her and it's just like, sometimes I'm like, hey, how did you do that? She's like, you know, it, it, it just, it's something that just build up in her to just say, you know what, I'm just going to stand on my 10 toes and, and my feet just to do this for you guys. You know, she could have, you know, how can I say she could have went ahead and just dated another guy. She didn't. She did. Even to this day, she could have did that. She could have said, you know what, let me let me satisfy my needs versus satisfying my life and my kids. She went ahead and do what she had to do for herself and her kids. That's being strong and an alpha woman. Do you get what I'm saying? Versus you have some women, no disrespect to all my ladies here and you know all the viewers, but you have some women that tries to prove that, hey, I'm an alpha woman. I'm doing this and I'm doing that. There's a big difference in that is. You know, filling in those shoes because those shoes is nothing to play with. Because here, that's when you can lose it. Here yeah. versus your heart, in your head, you can lose it. Just like you guys alluded, suicide. People don't think about these things. Depression is a big thing. That's why like being so strong, sometimes you could be in your room or in your car and you're just going through it. Being so strong for so long can only come, what, yeah. what goes up? Comes comes yeah. 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 And, That's and a the, whole different the, topic, the, topic, Emmanuel. Yeah. That's a whole different yeah. topic. Yeah. yeah. You know, for these women that are here with us tonight or watching the show, whether now or later on, or if you're having the conversation with your friends or your, you know, sisters, please let them know that it's okay. It's okay to be an alpha woman. It's okay to be a strong woman, but it's also okay to build a tribe. It's also okay to have a friend that you can call when you have no one to talk to. It's okay to cry. It's okay to let people see you cry because one of the things that um, I know when we, we are so strong, we don't want people to see our weaknesses. It's okay to let people see that you are not this iron, but a human because you, you know, you were not made of iron. You have a heart, you have emotion. You have all these things that made you. It's okay to be who you want to be in that moment. Don't let, you know what, society expect from you and because i know many strong women many strong black women 
who cannot find the man that they desire because they can't they feel that this man does not match my level he's not who i want to have in my life so we decide okay we're gonna sacrifice and just be alone instead of going and follow your heart you know i'm not telling anyone you know to compromise your, your the things that you desire but i'm letting you know it's okay just because you're an alpha woman does not make you you know uh so strong that you have to do everything by yourself find this partner call some friends let people know that you cry too because they don't see, they don't think you cry because you're so strong you handle everything you walk in a room and you own it people don't see your weaknesses so it's okay to be vulnerable and this is from a sister to another sister and as we're getting ready to leave, I do want to say thank you. What a great conversation we had tonight. Um, Manny, I appreciate it that you came and share your time with us tonight. I hope you come back. I hope you enjoyed it. Miss Scott, I, I know if you came from work. If you guys invite me, I will, man. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And Miss Scott, I know uh, next week you'll be with us because you'll hopefully you'll be off next Monday and uh, next Wednesday. And for all of you guys who spend time with us, Jimmy, next time I want to talk Happy live. That's you. what Jimmy said. Angela said, nice conversation. Baba said, yeah, Manny. Hey, <laughs> bye, I love you. And, and Hagman says, I believe that two alpha work well because both have a will and have plan to lead a relationship to success. That's the truth. That's the truth. And, and uh, I'm a you know big example that two alpha work well i mean yes do do my husband and i we, we butt heads yes we do um as a coach i'm a great communicator not bragging <laughs> so i learn how to shut up sometimes but i also mm. you know we also know how to uh to fight and this is one of the things that um i emphasize if you guys go on my website www.onimadesin.com you will see i do have a program that teach people how to fight and i remember people saying to me how do you teach people how to fight well guess what there's a technique to everything in life and fighting mm -hmm. is one of them so cricket thank you guys thank you guys for showing up i so appreciate you guys and i love you and i thank you for inviting people i see that we are growing we couldn't have done this without you you guys invite your friends you invite your family let me tell you you guys know how much i love you and we're gonna keep showing up and giving you guys exactly what you want conversation that most people are uncomfort uncomfortable to have we're having them right here and you can participate whether you're on stage or you're in the audience or you call me later on to tell me coach Maggie, i can't believe you guys were talking about this so anytime that you guys want to reach out to me i'm available for you 305-546-9679 and also guess what mr mundy my brother from the other mother has a podcast you guys need to support him i know he posted the link please give him some love you guys know what mundy is He's your Josh, Monday too. Candy, man. Do your thing, brother. Well. <laughs> Congrats on your podcast, Monday. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, um, I got to say, uh, you guys inspired me to do this, right? Um, it's been in the making for about three months now, but we finally got it off, off um, and running. So please subscribe, tell a friend. Um, and if you like this type of conversation, wait till you hear what we talk about on the podcast. So please listen yes. and, 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 yes. and um, join us. Mandy, if you don't mind putting it under the, the, the live we're doing now, so we could, you know, see yeah, other people would see it as well. And let them know what day is your live, brother. Yeah, some details would help. But every Sunday there will be a new one. Um, and I'm on Spotify as well. So if you are looking for me on Spotify, I'm there. I'm on um, Amazon and I'm also on, what's the other big one? Um, Yolo, Hulu. No, not Hulu. iTunes. Uh, well, Apple. yeah, I, I, Apple, I'm also on Apple and uh, iHeartRadio. Okay. 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 And, and, and what's, for, what's thank the you, time? Randy, what's the time? Yes. So this is uh it's not a live um um thing. So it's when I when I send it out. So every Sunday by 10 a.m. a new show will be broadcast. Okay. Okay, but there's one right yeah. now that you can listen to. Um and we had a show with a sex sexologist 
um, who was really, really, really good. And she gives orders, no pun intended. So yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Emmanuel is like, yeah, Papa, OK. <laughs> Uh, yes, we do. You. That's so nice having you all. <laughs> yes. Um, so, yes, guys, um, uh, I think Fred just asked me to tell the phone number again. Anybody who needs to reach out to me, 305-546-9679, or visit the website, www.owningmydestiny.com. And please, hashtag OMD. I cannot forget to say hashtag OMD, although... Uh, for those of you who know me, um, you know, I always have my logo behind me. And when I don't have it, it's because I'm traveling. I'm out of town. And we are actually um, in Florida looking for an event space for the Grand Masquerade Ball in December. Real fun. So, uh, I can't wait to have a confirmed date. I mean, uh, uh, everything available for you guys so we can share with you. We do have a confirmed date. It's December 9th. Um, of this year, but we will post all the information that you guys need. So get ready to go to another Grand Masquerade Ball, guys. I am excited about this. So thank and you. And old man. Shout, shout to Gilbert. All right. <laughs> all right. Anybody want to say anything before we leave? Thank you guys for having us. Thank, thank you. you. Um, especially our guests. Thank you for partaking. You know, um, it's all about you. We want your feedback. We want to hear your, your thoughts, what you have to say, and we appreciate you. And I hope you enjoy your evening. Until next time, next Wednesday. Emmanuel, man, Big E, whenever you can, up, up. I'm telling you, man, it's it's a big difference. Now, the energy, the energy right now. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? The load <laughs> is not that heavy. as heavy, huh? <laughs> Yeah, hey, look, man. What I gotta say, man. Listen, if you got you guys are doing a great job. Like what I try to do whenever you know I'm home and it's Wednesday, I'm listening and I'm watching. Trust me, and, and especially that one topic you guys were talking about. This was maybe a while back. I think last year, if not, and I think it was a sex topic. I, I'm not too sure, but I was like, whoa! I had to call up some of my guys, and I'm like, hey, <laughs> tune in, bro, because. I'm you could like, learn a thing or two. <laughs> yo, you you feel me? <laughs> and now, but like you guys been doing a great job. I'm not saying that just to you know make you guys feel better about yourself, but I really appreciate what you guys are doing, and um, this is great. Like, thank you, Maggie, for having me. Thank you, everybody, for real. I, I really appreciate it today.